What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is a top 15 or uh, 14 picks of 2004 that I actually purchased. Not necessarily that released this year, but something that I purchased. So I want to wish y'all a happy New Year's and much success in the year 2015 and all that old stuff. So let's get with the. I want to kind of like knock out two that. I wanted to put in my countdown, but quite didn't make it, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to go start off with the first one, which is these, right here. These nice little Timberlands. Um, I got these shoes because back in the day, when I was like in middle school, we used to call these Monster Timberlands. And these were like the shoes that everybody got. That was like the preppy guys or whatever. So this is my honorary number, I guess you'll say 17 or 13, 16. And I got this shoe dead stock on eBay for about 40 bucks. So that's one. This is my next one. ASIC Gel Light 2 GT. These are amazing. The suede on these are just ridiculous. I want to see if I can get it in that light because these are ridiculous bananas. I love these shoes. They are mad comfortable. Uh, ASIC is really coming out with some good quality stuff this day. So if you don't have a pair of ASICs, man, in your collection, I would advise you to get a pair. I love this shoe. And this is the two honorary mentions that I have in my collection. Now, we're going to start with number, I would just say 15. Let's just start with 15. Number 15. These babies. You have the Peapod 8. And you have the Anthracite 8. Good quality shoe back in uh, 06 when these came out. 06, 07. The quality on these shoes is second to none. You know, a lot of these shoes are people actually start back picking up. Uh, I got this is for a steal on eBay for uh, $100. So, yeah. Number eight. These here. Another good quality shoe. The suede on it was. Uh, the newer doer book on it was good. New book, whichever one I want to call it. These are pretty good. Uh, turn some heads with these. And these are number 15. Number 14. These babies. I got the Mellow 2s. These are awesome. I love this shoe. And when I got this shoe... I turned a lot of heads when I put this shoe on because to some people it's probably their grills, you know. I picked this up for a good deal on eBay, as you can see. The guy said he only worn it like maybe four or five times. You know, normally this will be yellow, but this is not even yellow. It's still white. Still still good. I would it didn't matter if it was white or not or yellow. You know, this pair here is yellow. So and this was one of my eBay steals I got for like 60 bucks. And they are mad comfortable, you know. A lot of people don't talk about the Jordan 2s. You know, they don't, they think it's like one of those shoes that should have been left out. I like the Jordan 2s. And this is number 14. Number 13 is oh, these babies right here. Man, when I saw this was coming out, I had to get it. Dead stock. Haven't been worn, tried on yet. I love this shoe. I love this shoe. Look at that bottom. Like Fat Joe, you can lick it. This is number 13 of my countdown of 2014. Number 12 would be these they're actually coming out with those these coming out sometime in uh 
the springtime of 15. Uh, I love this. Man, this is comfortable. Uh, this white, pearlized, almost like patent leather type deal. This is the suede right here. You got your laser etching with all the different type shoes. You got your threes. You got your symbols, which is 19. You got your six championship trophies. You know, the list goes on and on. You got your 16s. You got the motorcycle inspired tire bottoms. You know, the Wi-Fi. People call that Wi-Fi right there. That Wi-Fi right there. But this one here is number uh, number 12. Number 11 are these bad boys. Now, I've had this pair already. I think I got it back in early part of 13. I've only worn it uh, twice. But... I so much love the Reebok pump that they don't get his just due. You know, a lot of people, you see these on the clearance racks, you know. I bought this pair from uh, Marshalls for like 30 bucks, you know what I'm saying. But I got this on eBay. This is like the most sought out the colorway of this, 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 this style right here. You know, you can't go wrong with some pumps. And for them to actually sell this, you know, well, well under retail. And it's a good quality shoe. The leather is bananas on it you know it's comfort hey you got your carbon fiber that's real carbon fiber not that stuff that they be trying to put on their 11s and this and that but this is a, a pretty good shoe so this is number 11 number 10 is the grant heels 96 feelers i even got the matching socks to go with it you know sock game gotta be crazy but when you want to talk about comfort in a basketball shoe, especially of this age where you have the new technology, this is a comfortable shoe. I advise y'all to, to try this shoe out. You know, this is one of the shoes that pretty much, man, I had to have this shoe. I, I kept hearing about it, hearing about it, hearing about it was coming out. And when it came out, I said, man, I got to have this shoe. And you can see you got your feel of print on the inside. You know, the bottoms. I've worn them. I ain't gonna lie, I've worn them because they made comfortable. This is number 10 on my countdown. Number 9 is, drum roll, bam, the Pacific Pearl Jordan Retro 7s. Now, I got this from a cat. He was trying to sell them. I said, Man, let me get those because I've been looking for them for a while because if you go on eBay or these other sites, they're astronomical prices, man. And he cut me a good deal and I couldn't pass it up. So, you know, the the, the leather on here, man, is it's not like the Oregon uh, 7s, that crappy leather. This is real nice tumbled leather. And, you know, anytime you push in on leather and it's that soft, you know you got some good you got good quality shoe. And back in 07, yeah, 06 when they came out, the production date is 05. But when these came out, the quality back then was good. It's not like it is now, where it's all that synthetic stuff. So this is number nine. Number eight are these bad boys right here. These came out in 05. And I would love for them to retro these. And uh, among other of the late 90s, I mean, late 80s basketball shoes that Nike had, I would love for them to retro a few more, but that's another conversation. But you have the Air Force 3 High. Like I said, it's an 05 release. The leather, once again, that era, the leather was good. Look at me pushing in on that leather. It's The leather is soft on here, real soft. Even the Nike swoosh is soft. Uh, real plush. Uh, tongue, you can see that Air Force right there on the tongue. Like I said, it's a real dope shoe. I love this shoe. You got your bottom. This bottom doesn't wear out. It's going to take you mad times to play basketball and needs to wear this sole out. This sole is like bricks or whatever. But this is my number nine. I mean, my number eight. Number seven will be these bad boys. Okay, I got these right here, which are your University Blue or your Carolina Fives. 
real clean, simple shoe. Uh, you got your new book right here. You got your plastic panels on the side. You got your reflective tongue. The blue bottom. Blue bottom. I've worn them. They're a little dusty. But this was a good deal that I got. And I'm glad I got it to add to my collection. Because I'm my all-time favorite shoe is the Jordan 5. And then I got these. Uh, these came out, like I said, around 06, 07. And it's the LS series that they had with the fives. Soft, soft suede new buck material. This is this is people's some people's grills right here. We got your bottom right here. This was actually my Christmas Day uh shoe that I wore. You know, and I got a lot of heads turned and and what where you get those from and it's hard to find these. You know that type of stuff. So it was good. My number five would be these. Now, a lot of people are going to say, hey, that should be like number one, number two, and number three. But, I mean, I like the shoe, but it's not something that I would put in like my top five because that's just my opinion. Now, granted, these shoes are still dead stock, haven't been worn. Got them from Nike, the Nike Town Store online on release day. Some people had to camp out for these and wait, you know, astronomical time. I just, you know, an hour of patience online, bam, I had it. And I ordered them Saturday morning. I got them that Tuesday afternoon. So, dope shoe. You know, a lot of white. You just, it's like a summertime shoe. It's nothing you wear in the wintertime. So, this is going to be put up on ice until the summertime. That's if I want to pull them out. This is my number five shoe. Number four would be these, the Ferrari 14s. What can I say about these? Uh, another, when I saw images of these, I was hoping that it was going to be suede because I, you know, all red leather shoe. They've done that before. I felt like, you know, if they did the leather, I mean, the, the suede, it would make that shoe that much more desirable for a lot of, a lot of sneaker heads. And when I got this shoe, I said the the quality of the suede was just amazing. You know, this is not something you wear in the rain or, you know, in a muddy situation. It has to be sunny outside. And, but real, real dope shoe. I love the chrome accent from the uh, the uh, valve cover on the actual Ferrari itself. The Ferrari red with the, the yellow Jordan Ferrari sign. And you got your tie in the back. Good tail lights too. A lot of people don't know that's tail lights. Good shoe. This is number five. Number four. These. I've been hunting for this shoe, I think, for at least four years. And I finally got the shoe, and it was only worn one time. When I say one time, I mean one time. And... It's a dope, clean shoe. Some, I mean, some people kind of slept on this shoe because, you know, when it came out, I seen it still sitting on racks. You know, normally you have like your uh, cracking right here. There's no cracking. This shoe's never been painted over or nothing. I bought it from the seller like that. Dope, dope, dope shoe. Dope shoe in my opinion. It has the leather interior. It still has the Jumpman intact. In I don't know if you can see that. But it's a red jump man in there. Dope, dope shoe. The, the Jordan 3 uh, flips. My number four. My number three will be these. My air trainer, uh, SC Medicine Ball. I was in high school when these came out. I wanted this shoe so, so bad. <laughs> I asked my daddy to buy these shoes for me for my graduation present. And, you know, back then, I think this shoe retailed at like maybe 110 And when I asked for this shoe, I didn't get it. I actually got some Skyforce, which was like a cheap version of the uh, 
you like Delta Force in your Air Force. You know, I had the force on the t- tongue with the ball, but I didn't want that. I wanted these. And when they finally re retro these, I finally got my hands on it. And I was very glad that I got my hands on these. These are an amazing shoe. I love this shoe. I mean, I wore these shoes one time. And when I say people ask me where did I get these from, where did I get these from, I. It's, it was like that astounding, man, I'm, I, I, people still remember this shoe, you know. This is not one of them shoes you actually have to go out and camp out for, but this is one of those shoes that a lot of people still want because of this medicine ball look. You know, this is a, man, I, the leather quality on this, man, is just A1, you know what I'm saying? It's second to none. I'm glad that they actually put more thought into the leather processes of the shoes instead of Making you know that bullshit synthetic level that don't last long. So that's my number three. My number two, we get down to it. These. But I'm gonna show you one. I'm just gonna show you one. I'm gonna pick up all of them. These right here are the 2000 infrared black sixes. As you can see. It's just a little paint chipping right here. That's it. I have like a little small uh, piece of the midsole coming off. Other than that, these shoes are gorgeous. I like that yellow looking. That shows nostalgia. That just shows you the age of the shoe. The shoe has been through a lot. I have these with the box and the retro card. These, I've been wanting these since 91 when I was in high school. I end up getting the Air Flight Lows. And I had a chance to get either these, the black and metallic fives, or the Air Flight Lows. Well, everybody was getting the Jordans. I wanted to be a little different. So I ended up with the Air Flight Lows of 91. I had a lot of people staring, you know. Showing, you know, showing love to the shoe, but it's just the fact that I missed out on getting these right here. These right here. I love this shoe and I'm glad I got it. And I'm so stoked that I got this shoe and I got it in multiple colorways because, you know, anything else. Uncivilized, right? That's right. I love the Carmines. This is one of my grails. When I got it, I was so happy. I was so stoked. And a lot of people don't like the leather quality on it. I like it. I mean, you can actually see the leather it, right here if you peel it back. It's thick. It's supposed to be like that. This new book suede type material is, is Gucci. Man, this is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. I love this shoe. And this is my number two. I'm going to leave those right there. And for my number one pick, I need me a drum roll for this one. Are these bad boys right here the air command force San Antonio Spurs colorway I love this I was so stoked when I seen these shoes I was man I was like flipping inside like I'm I like the Billy Hoyles but this here is just done it for me this colorway here done it for me I know it's not an original colorway from 91 but this colorway did it for me the hints of the, the teal with this black splatter and the pink, man, it just did it for me. The tongue, and I'm, I like black shoes because you can pretty much wear anything with black shoes. And I love this to the fact that I had to make this my number one. I bought this, uh, they, they came out early part of, uh, well, late part of December. I bought these back like a couple of weeks before Halloween and the, the stairs, the man, where you get those from, the that's a badass, man, that tongue so live. To, man, it's just everything about this shoe. Everything about this shoe. I love this shoe. This is my top pick of 2014. 2014. So there you have it, YouTube. My top 15 plus two honorable, honorable mentions of 2014. I hope you enjoyed this video. You like it thumbs up comment hit that subscribe button i don't do videos very often but you know 
I just felt like I wanted to show my shoe collection off uh, to, to the YouTube audience, you know, because it's, it's a culture that we got going on here, and I want to keep it going a little bit. I might not be the biggest person on you, uh, YouTube that's actually doing reviews or showing off their collection, but it's just something I love. I love my shoes, and I love my cars. I'm starting to do my calls back again because, you know, I ran through a little small problem, but that's for another video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up if you like it, and we out. Happy New Year!